Hi everyone, we're going over the homework from last week, and this is regarding liabilities. Continue with number one. In 2018, Mondo Magazines began selling one and two year subscriptions to its publications. Subscriptions are collected in advance and credited to sales. And the question is asking uh, what would be the balance of deferred revenue at uh, December 31, 2019. The way I looked at it was basically look at 2019 at the end of 2019 and see what hasn't uh, expired yet. This has all been sold, but um, these pieces are still um, deferred because it hasn't expired yet. So I would say the 115, 205 plus 130 115, 205 plus or 450, and that is and that is still deferred, deferred revenue because it was prepaid but still not earned. When a customer pays far enough in advance to require seller to record interest expense, and there's accrued interest, and uh, the amount of revenue recognized by a seller on performance obligations have been met and delivery is complete, this one is exceed the amount of deferred revenue. Basically, they're talking about interest on the deferred revenue, very rare, but in this situation, um, the total amount will exceed the amount of deferred revenue initially recorded because there's interest involved. The next one is about payroll tax. We have a company with wages of 12000 federal income tax withheld of 1440 and uh, we're asking what is the payroll tax and what's the withholding due to the IRS. Right, so let's see here. So all wages were paid, tax rates are 7% and, and 2%, and what is 9% of the total wages? So we see 9% of 12,000 is the 1080, right? And, uh, and the employees FUTA, which is 7% of 12,000 is 840. Okay, so we have to do the 840 plus the withheld amount, the initial of the 1440, right? And that, um, basically we're talking about the IRS receiving the 1440 plus the payroll tax, right? And then the payroll tax liability of the 1080, which is 9%, okay? Um, so we're talking about 1440 plus the 7% of 12, and the initial payroll tax liability, which is 9% of the total thousand, which is 1080. For number four, the question is uh, asking about a legal dispute. And all we're looking for is unfavorable outcome was probable, but limited to 80,000. So 80,000 is what we disclosed on the, on the balance sheet. Number five, uh, we have same thing. We have uh, management estimates a loss, right? It, the losing is the suit is reasonably possible. What do we have? Reasonably possible means not accrued but disclosed. And let's see, question six. We're talking about sick days here. Our sick day is accrued. And the answer is because it's sick days are accrued and the liability is how many sick days times the amount per sick day. So we have 38,500. Um, question talks about legal again, and we're talking about what has actually happened. So we have a judgment for 650, so that is already, that's probable, so that is definitely um, accrued, right? And then we have uh, a lawsuit that is reasonably possible, right? So what do we accrue? Okay, um, and the other issue is that this is IFRS, so what is going with IFRS is a little bit different regarding provisions. So a contingency of 175, that is um, reasonably possible. So we have that and the 800,000 relates to the 650, which is probable, and the warranty, which is um, pretty much confirmed based on estimates, so 800,000. And basically with the IFRS, a provision or contingency is a liability. Uncertain as to timing and amount associated with the present obligation resulting from a past event. So provisions are a little bit different, but um, the contingency, we're basically just identifying what are contingencies and what are liabilities here. With eight, we have another payroll question. And uh, we have a gross wage of 15000 
and 1500 for income tax and the question is what's the payroll tax well that's going to be the 9% of 15000 so we add 1350 to 15000 to remit back out and that's 15000 plus 1350 1350 is 9% of the 15,000. Moving on to 9 here, the question asks what would be a liability in this case and we says the bank loan required the company or our call to maintain certain financial ratios but they failed so the loan is basically in violation and due any moment. Because the loan is due any moment, it's included in the liability. So the 2 million, the 1 million, the 200,000, the 100, the everything is current, so it's 3.3. And for the last one, we have various liabilities. What should be reported as current? Dividends are not reported as current until they're declared, and thus the first three don't apply, and the bonus does apply. So it's 30,000, the answer is A.